Meteorologist Joe Bastardi, your daily update here. Uh, severe weather yesterday broke out in the mid-Atlantic states. I suspect it has to do with this higher dew point air uh, due to uh, warm water off the east coast and in the Gulf of Mexico. Air masses have more moisture in here earlier. Uh, you know, I, I've seen this before in July and August. It's sort of a mini tornado season up in this area of the country, and it occurred earlier this year, and I think... Uh, Part of it has to do with how much cold there was to the west, but part of it is also due to how warm this water is, because that's definitely impacting the amount of moisture in the air. And I have all sorts of theories about this uh, warm water off the eastern seaboard of the United States and the impact it is having on other things. For instance, uh, if you look at the incident of Lyme disease, and this is just something I'm throwing out there so people... Don't get all upset. It's just an idea to think about. Uh, the increase in Lyme disease over the southeast has not been nearly as great as the increase in Lyme disease over the northeast. And uh, we're talking about the rate of increase here. And it may be that uh, because uh, the ocean's been so warm the past 15 to 20 years off the eastern seaboard, that more uh, higher moisture content air, the type you'd usually see in the southeast, has been more frequent up in the Northeast and has uh, made things more hospitable uh, for these ticks. Um, I know that there are some people taking uh, interesting measures to stop tick infestation. For instance, possums uh, go after ticks and guinea hens. I had a friend of mine boy, buy 10 guinea hens and he's raising them now. I don't know what everybody in his neighborhood is going to do when those guinea hens are released out into the backyard, but uh, like he said, if he could prevent uh, one person from getting Lyme disease, uh, you know, who's going to complain in the neighborhood, right? But a very, very interesting aspects, side aspects. Um, now, severe weather is going to start picking up over the next 10 days. Uh, so far this month, we haven't had much go on uh, relative to averages. Um, it's still a pretty high uptick time of the year, uh, this time of the year in uh, Oh my gosh, my fire just went on in my fireplace. It's June 5th, June 14th. What is going on here? Um, I'll find something to complain about. But what's going to happen is we're going to see uh, more than the normal amount of severe weather over the next 10 days uh, showing up in here. And the reason is a change in the temperature pattern. This has been the month so far, right? So you see how cool it's been down here. So the, the, the real contrast zone has been way, way down where the jet can't really get to it that, uh, that often. But now it's pulling back to here. This is a 6 to 10, which looks very much the way it was in May. So guess what's going to happen? And you can see the heavy precipitation showing up in this part of the nation. We're going to talk tropics this morning. We have a, a, a down year in the big development area season. Now, look. That doesn't mean the United States can't have something develop, and that, that's the problem this year. Something develops in your backyard within two days of landfall and feeds back and winds up because of warm water. But the deep tropics, the main development regions, well, they look like they're going to be uh, down this year. This is the next, the CFSV2 over the next 45 days, as you can see. Uh, and you see all the, the water in there now. Look what it looks like when you see, see this area, this dry area in the Western Caribbean, dry here in the Atlantic, uh, right? And look at the years when we had the lowest ACE index, right? Ah, similar, right? So uh, the last five low ACE index years look like this. Now, look what's going on in India. It's very dry in India, all right? It's very dry right now in India. Now, those same years, see those same years right there, uh, the El Nino years with low ACE, it's dry in India during the month of June. And you can see, especially eastern India. Now, why would that be? Because the monsoon is late, all right? It's mon later, not monsooner this year. And this is an old forecast trick. Uh, me meteorology, what was it, 411 back then, Dr. John Lee, tropical meteorology, and uh, Dr. Lee is a, was a Florida State uh, product, and um, 
he was uh, he was director, I believe, of the Bahamian Weather Service way back when. But he was our tropical tropical professor, and uh, he said, well, you know, he would always watch that 200 millibar monsoonal circulation over India when that came on late. The main development region of the Atlantic generally had lower than normal activity. We didn't have ACE indexes back then. I mean, there were ACE indexes, but they weren't developed yet. Um, so what's going on in India? It's just boiling away in India. It's scorching hot, as you can see, because there's no clouds around. There's no monsoon yet. Here's this tropical cyclone turning westward, but most of India is still void of clouds because the monsoon is not coming in. So if you were listening a few weeks ago, we say, look, it looks like it's going to be a very hot June in India. But there's a reason. When the monsoon comes on late, that happens. Now, someone may say, ha-ha, climate change, right? Well, the opposite side of that will be, it could be meaning a lower Atlantic hurricane season. So there's give and take all over the place. There's some things that are good, some things that are bad. The atmosphere does that all the time, all right? Uh, in balance, uh, you know, it all washes out, and there's nothing new under the sun, in my opinion. That's it for now. Enjoy the weather. It's the only weather you got.